Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Watching three areas. This first one is that area that's been working its way across the Atlantic for days upon days at this point. Uh, computer models have just kind of been back and forth on this. And still, we're looking at a very disorganized wave working its way on towards the west. Then we have two other areas further out. You see this one in the middle. At first glance, looking a little bit more impressive because you're seeing this burst of convection, but a pretty low chance of that developing. And then we have another area a bit closer to Africa. That one looks like maybe a little bit better chance that we could see some development, but that would likely be working its way more onto a north and northwesterly direction. So first look is this area that's now working its way through the Caribbean and what it's doing right now. It's basically just a tropical wave at this point, but it is bringing some heavy rain across portions of Hispaniola and still very disorganized. It's going to continue to work its way on towards the west. Computer models are really in fair agreement right now that we're not going to see anything in the short term with this and probably not going to see anything across the Caribbean. We're likely if we see anything, it would be over portions of the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Then here's that area where you see that burst of convection with this. But notice we also have a lot of this dry air. It's been all season long. We have been talking about that Saharan dust and that has posed a big issue for all these waves working their way off the coastline. So watch the Fox model as we look down across the Caribbean. As we head through the next couple of days, what you're noticing is yeah, you're just not seeing much in the way of any development. It stays very disorganized, working its way through the Central Caribbean and into the Western Caribbean at that point still looks fairly disorganized. But that's the area where it does look like conditions at least become a little bit more favorable in the atmosphere. Now, if it survives that work over or that move over land and into the Gulf of Mexico, that's where we might start to see a little bit more in the way of some development with this, and that would be probably towards this weekend heading towards next week. You look at the, the spin in the atmosphere. We're looking at this from the European model and basically that same idea. It stays fairly disorganized, but it does carry it over the land areas. We also have a cold front, which will actually be pushing down across the Gulf of Mexico. So if this strengthens a little bit more, it may actually kind of pull up into this cold front as we head into the first part of next week. But still, this is one that's going to take a long, long time to develop if it does develop. And we'll keep you posted right here on myfoxhurricane.com.